Hello YouTube, this is Asnan from Trending Codes and welcome you back to my new video. Uh, in this video, what we're gonna do is uh, we will just select or we will just take a new picture from the camera and we will directly upload this particular clicked picture in the Firebase storage. So uh, I will just show you how exactly it works uh, right over here. I will just take the picture with the help of uh, take picture button and it will just directly open the camera right away so here it's open the camera and I'm going to click the picture right and I just hit a right tick and it will just upload the picture right away on the Firebase and it will display that clicked picture on the screen so uh, in this video I will just show you how to open the camera and to use this what we're gonna do is we will use the uh, Ionic native Cordova camera plugin to implement this and I'll just show you how it exactly works now uh, we should follow uh, some steps to implement this particular uh, image uploading system and I'll just show you it's too easy it's not too complicated I have made this tutorial so easy so that you can uh, implement and you can understand so easy into your ionic 3 app so uh, let's get started first of all i'm going to show you the basic steps which you should follow and then uh, i'll just show you and we'll just start coding right away so let's get started okay so i'll just give you an overview uh, first of all what we're going to do is uh, we will import the image upload function and then we will import the uh, create take picture function then calling the upload function and then using the download URL property to display the image on the screen so let's get started okay so uh, first of all what we will do is uh, we will uh, import or we will install the Firebase right from the command line interface of the Visual Studio Code now to install the Firebase what you have to do is uh, just run this command I have already done that so I'm not going to do it again so if you want to install the Firebase you should fire this command npm install Firebase now after doing that what you will do is over here just type the import Firebase from Firebase and we will configure our Firebase uh, getting this particular uh, things from the Firebase console I hope you know what is this all about uh, this is for to connect our Ionic 3 app to the Firebase and I'm not going to show you detail from where you will get this all stuff uh, what you will do is uh, you should go to the Firebase console and just uh, go to the web API and you will find all these things so just copy and paste and Firebase dot initialize app and we'll just initialize our app now with the help of these two steps uh, our connection with the Firebase is successful now the next step you should do is um, you should um, install the Ionic plugin uh, camera plugin to install that particular plugin what you should do is you should fire this command right away and you should be inside your project directory don't forget that and to install your Cordova plugin uh, you should use the Ionic plugin at Cordova plugin camera and this will take few minutes and install the Cordova plugin into your project now once you do that as we are using the Ionic native uh, what we will do is um, we will install the uh, uh, with the help of npm the Ionic native and to install that Ionic native what you should do is npm install Ionic native hyphen hyphen save this will take few minutes and it will install into your project now once you are done with that what you have to do is uh, you should add the platform you should know Cordova plugins are not running on the web browser you should run your plugin on the uh, Android emulator so you should be you should add the platform and you should debug your app on your device or the emulator I will use the emulator so that you can see on the screen now once you are done with that uh, um, let's get started and let's dive inside the coding okay so first of all what you're going to do is you're just going to import the camera from the ionic native right over here i have done 
and what you're gonna do is the first step is to import the Firebase into your uh, home.html file Firebase from Firebase and once you are done with that what we will do is uh, what we will do is inside the constructor uh, we will create a reference sorry you should not write this in the single code okay now it's proper now once you are done with the uh, importing firebase uh, what you should do is you should create the variables uh, like um, pick data it should be of type any um, the next uh, next variable you should create is um, um, I guess pick URL we will store the downloadable URL uh, inside your pick URL variable and it should be type of any and the last is um, uh, my pick okay now we will use this variable or not my pick use the my pick ref now this will use uh, to set the reference uh, where we will upload our image inside the firebase storage now we will going to upload this image into the firebase storage so we will just create or we will just give the reference this dot um, my ref my pick ref my pick uh, ref equals to firebase dot store h dot um, ref and the reference should be um, sorry and the reference uh, should be our um, something root so we are going to use one slash over here now we are done with the uh, giving the reference to the map pick now what we will do is um, we will head to the uh, home.html page and I'll just show you what I have done over here is I have just created one button right over here and one image and I have given the image uh, mm, I guess what's the okay uh, my pick ref my okay pick URL use this variable and set the source for the pick URL right over here your source should be this variable pick URL where you will be getting the uh, downloadable URL now the next step is uh, you're going to create the take pick function okay and to create a take pick function inside a TS file you should write uh, be, uh, underneath the constructor take pick and the we, we are going to use the camera so don't forget to import the camera right over here once you're imported you can use the camera uh, now we'll create the camera fun uh, we will use the ca uh, camera code or plugin and the camera dot get picture mm. why my intelligence is not working yeah it's working now um, get picture now after writing the get picture uh, what you should do uh, you should try or you should set some properties for getting the picture so first is quality and it should be of 100 if you're not going to set this quality the default quality is 50 now uh, the destination type where our what is the exact destination you should get the destination type should be um, camera dot um, destination type um, and it should be of uh, data URL yeah that's correct now uh, our source destination how are you gonna set the source destination is source um, uh, sorry source type not source what I'm telling um source type and it should be of camera dot uh, source type yeah picture source type dot 
uh, a camera. So what you, what exactly you are telling over here is uh, our source type. We are sh uh, where should we get our picture? What is the source type? Uh, we are going to use camera. We are going to take a picture from the camera. So so we should write a camera over here. If you want to take a picture from photo library you should use photo library or if you want to use a picture from the saved album saved photo album you can use that particular so in the in this particular tutorial I'm going to show you the camera function uh, so I'll just use the camera right over here and in my next tutorial I will show you um, how to uh, take a picture from the uh, library or the gallery and you should use the uh, encoding type and encoding type uh, is of um, PNG so I'll just use the camera dot um, something encoding type yeah encoding type dot um, PNG you can use two options that is PNG and JPEG I'm going to use PNG over here now once you're done with that uh, what we're gonna do uh, we will save that particular click photo into our library so what we will use is save um, to save to photo album I will set true so uh, what exactly it is is like when you click the picture that particular picture should be saved inside your library okay now if you will set the default uh, it will not store your picture into the, your library and it will just directly upload to the Firebase now once we are done with this um, what we will do is uh, we will uh, try to upload this particular uh, now I will just use then and inside then I will create one handler with the image data and it will be retaining some uh, image data so what I will do is um, I'll just use this image data to upload all those particular data to the Firebase now uh, I will just store that image data into the variable and what is that variable uh, it is big data okay now this dot big data equals to image data okay cool now uh, once I am uh, once I stored that okay I create a mistake over here okay image data now fine once you are uh, stored the image data into your big data uh, after doing that you're gonna call the uh, upload function which we have not created right now now I will just call this dot upload function right over here uh, now we will just create the upload function outside the take pick um, upload and inside the upload what we will do is uh, we will upload our picture to the firebase now to upload a picture uh, what we will do is this dot um, my my photograph uh, or yeah my pic ref dot child so it will create a nested uh, for a folder or something uh, unique which will be stored inside the firebase storage and um, uh, dot child inside the child what I'm going to pass is I'm going to generate the unique ID uh, so this dot uh, UID so uh, this is the uh, UID is the function we are, which we're going to create afterwards after writing this function uh, dot child once again inside the UID are going to store this particular image uh, and um, what you're going to uh, set over here is um, your picture name so I will just type pic.png now once you are done with this um, we will just create one string we will store this particular uh, we can call a metadata uh, for that particular image we are going to store the metadata for that particular image so what we will use we will use the put uh, string function or the property put string okay and inside the put string what we're going to pass is the data which we have stored over here right over here this dot big data so this dot pick 
uh, data and our data is of like base 64 and our contained is of type PNG so contained uh, sorry content type um, I guess yeah it should be of contained type contain type and it should be of I think um, image PNG right image slash PNG so it will just show a type over there what kind of data is that so uh, we are done with this now what we will do is uh, um, the with the help of this particular um, function we are uh, able to upload the um, picture successfully now once you are done with this um, now what we will do we will retry the downloadable URL of the uploaded image and then we will display that particular image uh, right on the screen to do that we will use dot then and inside then we will create one uh, saved pick handler and what we will do is uh, here we have created one uh, pick URL variable. We will store the downloadable URL into the this dot uh, pick URL equals to um, the handler save pick dot I guess um, downloadable URL. Mm, yeah, download. Um, L O A D U R L. Now, once you get the download URL, you are able to uh, display that particular image successfully onto the screen. Now, here you can see we are getting the error because we have not created a function which will create a generate, uh, which will generate the uh, unique UID for each and every user. Now, to do that, uh, I have that function ready made over here. Uh, you can get that function uh, from the uh, description below in the video uh, here we go to generate the UID I'll just copy and paste right over here mm, I'll just create over here UID okay I'm not going to explain this uh, whole function it is something doing and generating the random string and uh, we are calling right over here still it's giving an error um, you I did not exist in the home page hey bro it's there over here right over here mm, why so okay I'll just type it again this dot um, U I D yeah and close it okay now well, we are ready to uh, run our app but um, okay now we will uh, run this app directly into the emulator and to run that emulator uh, we should use this function code of our run Android now don't forget to add the platform first you add the platform I, sh I have shown you how to uh, add the platform by what command and we'll just run the app right over here okay so before you upload the image uh, you should go inside the storage of your firebase project and you should set the rules to for read and write to true so uh, if you will not uh, do this your project your or your application will not allow you to upload the image uh, without setting this rule to true uh, you have to log in first and then you can do all those stuff but if you don't want to log in and you want to create or you want to upload that directly you should uh, do or you should write this if true so it will allow you now we will just go to the file and look like we are not having any files right over here inside the uh, firebase storage and we will try to upload from the emulator uh, okay so app has been started on the emulator and I'll just click on the take picture 
um, it will open up the camera right away and I'll just click this picture right here and I just hit on the tick and it will just upload the image on the Firebase and easily it will fetch the downloadable URL and display that particular URL on the screen and you can able to see the uploaded image on the screen now uh, as you can see over here uh, there was no image or there was no file before now we will get one image right over here uh, after uploading that uh, particular image that of right um, red square okay okay so can you see uh, right over here uh, according to our coding we have created one uh, unique UID right over here and that particular UID is uh, generated or created with the help of this particular uh, UID function right over here like uh, we are generating the UUID it's like uh, we are uh, getting the string or we are writing our screen with some XXX and, and we are replacing our X and Y globally with these uh, generating some uh, random numbers and multiplying that random numbers by that particular generated date and all those stuff now uh, this is how we can easily create and uh, upload low battery I'm sorry for that uh, we can easily upload the function this is not too much complicated I just found so many tutorials on the YouTube which, which are too much complicated to implement the image uploading function so if you like this tutorial please subscribe comment and uh, hit the like button now uh, in my next tutorial I will just show you how to fetch your particular image from the uh, gallery or from the saved uh, album or from the uh, we are not going to use in that particular tutorial uh, we are not going to use the camera we can use uh, the uh, uh, the saved picture from the uh, gallery and we can easily get that particular image from the gallery and uploading that particular gallery image to the firebase and getting that particular image back into your uh, Ionic 3 app so I hope you like this video and you gain some knowledge now uh, please subscribe share and comment if you have some error I'll be helping you to figure out so till now bye bye I'll see you in my next video take care keep coding Thank you.